It's been widely regarded as one of the toughest political cells in Australian history. If you're not sure about John Howard's GST, just remember that once it's put in place, you'll be stuck with it, stuck with it, stuck with it. Adding a 10% tax to 3 million goods and services. Cabinet papers from 1998 revealing there were seven lengthy meetings between the coalition leadership team before the policy was endorsed by Cabinet. And the government proposes to abolish Labor's wholesale sales tax system. The task then began to convince the public before voters went to the polls in October of that year. It's a system that will move our country forward, not hold it back. Tax reform. Despite the mammoth ad campaign, the policy almost cost the coalition the election. Oh yeah, it was a near-death experience. <laughs> um, we, we went into the 1998 election with, with a pretty handy majority and we lost all of it, nearly. The tax change came into effect in July 2000, almost 20 years ago, now anchoring the economic partnership between the federal government and the states. Former Treasurer Peter Costello warning the Morrison government not to tinker with the GST as some MPs push for change. Uh, it'll be a big thing to change it now and after it's been in place, successfully in place for 20 years, you'd need to have a pretty good reason. The Cabinet papers from 1998 and 99 also show preparations for the 2000 Sydney Olympics, including a discussion about potential threats and reveal planning efforts for a referendum on Australia becoming a republic, which ultimately failed in 1999. Uh, will it ever come again? I don't think it's going to come any time soon. Uh, these things come, up, come along generally once in a generation. While in 1999, Cabinet grappled with the unusual problem of the Y2K bug, the fear that the world's computer and banking systems would crash when they ticked over to the new millennium. And I can remember we had uh, a situation room at the Reserve Bank and it was monitoring the international payment system to make sure it hadn't crashed uh, as Australia flicked onto the 1st of January 2000 before anyone else, you see. Uh, and I was getting reports that night, you know, all quiet, all quiet, all quiet. I said, quiet is good. <laughs> After a busy 2019, the current coalition government will be hoping for a quiet start to the new decade. Eliza Edwards, Sky News, Canberra.